Hi, I thank you for joining me today at the Oracle of the Feather Crown Tree. We are doing a reading for April 1st, and this is the Radiant Astro reading. It's a 13-card spread. We have a center card and then 12 cards that surround it. They go from Aries to Pisces, or the 1st to the 12th house to give us a little bit of symbolic footing as we interpret the messages. And this has really um, evolved from an underlying concept that if all of our chakras were to come together in one powerful chakra, then we would become a radiant sun in and of ourselves that could pour this energy into the world for good and not be reliant so much on needing things from our environment energy wise so we would be very self-sufficient masters this reading will have themes brought up into it up in it that will be of prevalent nature for anyone having their solar return today and these ideas should uh, echo throughout the year for you as major life lessons so once again, thanks for being here. Let's begin with the center card. Our question for it is, how can I silence my ego so my soul can shine? A smile fills your heart with longing. Through the magnetism of divine love, you merge with another, and love becomes an all-embracing thought. By a touch, a word, or a glance, Love heals, unites, transforms, and transfigures all things. This is your season of love, a time of positive transformation, a time of happiness. So Aries is next, and we have a card from the Zodiac Oracle. Our card is... The is Jupiter, and our question is, how can I begin things with self-awareness for protection of my physical body, as well as be conscious of my mask and projections of myself onto others? Jupiter is associated with the Roman god Jupiter, ruler of heaven and earth, thought of as a fair and just protector. Jupiter is often thought of as the planet of luck and expansion, the desire to understand the bigger picture, to prosper, and to experience joy are a big part of Jupiter's influence. Optimism, faith, and spirituality play roles in these issues. We'll be taking a card from the Celtic Shaman's Oracle for the next p position of Taurus. How do my values generate resourcefulness, self-esteem, and wealth? We have the Seeress. A cloaked female figure watches the horse-like spirits who surround her. Between her hands is a golden spindle. Its key word is prophecy. The seeress captures the vision of both past and future, seeing how the threads of the web of creation are spun and where each person stands upon them. Her visionary powers are remarkable, and she can advise on the best course of action in any given situation. Her web is woven of the threads of destiny, and she gives prophetic information by way of inspired oracle. You are walking on a broad and well-trodden highway, which winds between level green lands. In the distance, there is a cloud of dust, which, as it approaches, gives way to reveal a chariot drawn by two dusky black horses. In the chariot rides the woman, whose description you have read. She puts her proud steeds to a halt before you and leans down from her chariot 
to regard you with bright, deep, seeing eyes. You may ask her to reveal something of the future to you, always remembering that the tides of fate might change at any moment, now or in the days to come. For Gemini, we have the Tantric Dakini Oracle. Our question for this card is, how does my mindset influence my intentions and define my comfort zone? Today we have Scarlet Woman, bearing the number three, signifying the thresh or the threefold nature of existence, creation, preservation, and dissolution the trinity, the trine of astrology, the past, present, and future, the threefold cycle of destiny. This card has some affinity with the empress of the tarot. The two large eyes of the scarlet woman as a goddess stare out over a cluster of small red flowers. In the foreground, there is a large open red poppy relating her to the earth and its fruitfulness and fecundity. She represents the threefold play of the goddess, the Shakti, and her sensual and sexual aspects through her magnetic form. She is the seductive yogini, female aspect of yoga fulfillment of the left hand tantric path, which stresses that there should be no hesitation to perform potent acts, provided one is prepared to handle the consequences. The red color indicates the sulfurous nature of her energy as the raw female principle in the alchemical process of self-realization. The open poppy indicates that the womb of the goddess is open in a mystic invitation. On her brow is depicted a ruby related to her fire-like transcendental nature. At the same time, pointing out that so sure is she of her position of authority she wears her potency as ornaments. This card indicates the importance of the Shakti or female energy principle to the questioner and her manifestation either as the mystic counterpart in the world or as the attainment of her attributes within the self. It suggests a strongly passionate nature from the sensual to the spiritual realm, either latent or expressed in the heart of the questioner. Meditate on her as the creative female aspect. Cancer, the prophet, oracle deck. How can I implement self-care to nurture my feminine energy and emotions as well as bring awareness to my subconscious programmed by my ancestry? In the dew of little things, the heart finds its morning. For what is your friend that you should seek him and with hours to kill? Seek him always with hours to live. For it is for it is his to fill your need, but not your emptiness. And in the sweetness of friendship, let there be laughter and sharing of pleasures. For in the dew of little things, the heart finds its morning and is refreshed. Leo, we are going to use a Egyptian theme deck. How can I enact play, self-expression, desires of my inner child, creativity, joy, risk-taking, and pleasure in my daily life? Capera, cycles of change, planetary guardian, spiral dancer. Capera is known as the becoming one the ancient scarab beetle who pushes the solar orb above the horizon at dawn. The scarab represents the gentle rays of the morning sun and is closely associated with creation and resurrection. 
Capera is a loyal guardian and protector of planet Earth and all her creatures. In tune with the cycles of life and the cosmos, Capera ceaselessly works to bring forth the necessary changes that allow creation to keep moving forward. As a spiral dancer who filters and transmits the powerful stellar and cosmic forces that radiate onto our planet and into all of Earth's creatures, Capera mitigates these energies while holding the balance of time and the turning of the ages in his feet. If you have drawn this card, it is time to increase your awareness of the more subtle energies that are influencing you. You are encoding the mystery teachings of the spiral dance and the nature of change, and Capera is there to protect and support you during this quickening. It is through the intercession of Kapara that you are able to handle the energies that are moving towards you at any given moment, especially as you move off the linear path into a deeper relationship with the natural cycles of creation. With the heightened awareness that Kapara offers, you can become a co-creator of your universe. You are awakening to how transformation happens and being prepared for the next level of higher consciousness. If your situation requires protection, feel the energies of Kapara surround and enfold you, especially when you find yourself in a physical or emotionally toxic environment. Because Kapara is so closely aligned with the transits and alignments of the planets and stars, this might be a good time to consult a seasoned astrologer to investigate and explore your current connection to your personal astrological chart. Virgo, we're going to be using the Enchanted Spell Oracle. How can I give to myself and others for significant improvement? Contemplation, reflection, understanding, life lessons. The herb associated is St. John's wort. St. John's wort has been used to treat melancholy and sadness for hundreds of years. In the Middle Ages, it was used as a sedative to treat disorders of the mind. The wort of St. John's is often used in magical spells for health and happiness because its sunny yellow flowers add some, add some joyful color magic. It's a herb that brings calm contemplation and a glad heart. The contemplation card depicts the priestess of contemplation, peacefully lost in thought. She is writing her memoirs in a book of shadows. All the wisdom of life well lived, and the lessons she has learned are recorded for others in moments of quiet meditation. She is surrounded by the St. John's wort plant, including the flowers and seed pod. The Scottish Gaelic word solus libhar appear, which translate to book of light. In modern day Wicca, the more apt term book of light and shadows is often used to name a witch's grimoire or book of magic. The priestess is in her twilight years and almost ready to leave the physical world. Her spirit body is starting to shine through in the form of golden wings and a halo. The priestess is happy and content, and as she looks back and reflects on her life, she knows that she has done her best. When the priestess of contemplation appears, it represents an excellent opportunity to reflect on your life experiences and the insights you have gained from them. It signifies a time of reflection, a time to glean a deeper understanding of why you are here. This card encourages quiet moments of meditation and deep thought. Libra, the Goddess Power Oracle. How can I practice equality 
and sharing to forge alliances and resolve interpersonal conflicts. Sarah Edwin, potential. You are a child of infinite potential. And the Celtic goddess Sarah Edwin is here to remind you of the power that resides in the womb of your heart and the chalice of your mind. Everything you need is coming together right now, as if your life's reflection were shining brightly in a golden liquid in Sarah Edwin's magical, transformative cauldron. Imagine greatness and there will be greatness. Envision peace and there will be peace. Choose love, choose gratitude, and choose faith in the divine magic that flows through you. There are the own, <clears throat> these are the only ingredients needed for the goddess Seridwin to work her transformational magic on your behalf. Regardless of the limitations imposed on your world by fate, culture, and conditioning, your true destiny is coalescing on your behalf. You can be anything you imagine. Remember the stream and trust that everything you need to exist to make that dream a reality. This is the promise of the goddess Seridwin. Scorpio, how do the renewal cycles of my life give opportunity for mystery, intimacy, transformation, and shadow work? Stand still. When standstill appears, it is a symbol of pausing, the act of, of observation and breathing space. It represents the benefits of temporary non-action, as well as what happens when one is stuck. When things seem to stall or stagnate, or when you feel stuck, this symbol appears as a reminder that constant action isn't going to get you where you want to go. Perhaps it's time to gather more information, or just wait until the universe makes the next move. No matter what, this moment is a beautiful gift orchestrated in your favor. Enjoy it. Let the universe bring all the parts together for the highest good. Go and play, recharge, and take the focus off whatever has stalled. Life will get busy again for you sooner than you think. Sagittarius, a yogic path. How does my belief system generate meaning and encourage expansion? beyond my comfort zone. Dhyana, eight stages of yoga, concentration and meditation with the intention to know the truth. When was the last time you fully became immersed in what you were doing? Dhyana is when the dancer becomes the dance, the singer becomes the song, the painter becomes the paint, the lover becomes the love. There's no difference between the deer and the deed. Oh, sorry. The doer and the deed. You merge as one. You have pulled the Diana card to remind you that now is the time to transition from doing to embodying. Find that which you can merge with and practice it fully. Become the words in your journal, the asana, in your practice, the nature with which you surround yourself and notice your presence expand. Capricorn, the heart path oracle. How can I achieve my realistic yet challenging goals step by step? The intimate dance of belief and emotions. There is strength in numbers. This message is for you and any close friends, family, or co-workers you have in your sphere. This is a dynamic time. The people in your life have choreographed a magical dance in this 3D world. Examine your beliefs and risk 
letting go of all you once knew to be true. The beautiful blue planet Neptune has appeared to show you a side of yourself that you never knew was there. Your inner eyes have been activated through meditation, self-reflection, and or journeying work. And you have access to information that has eluded you in the past. Now is the time to take the lead in helping transform the planet. You are all more important than you realize. The two blue roses balancing the group confirm that miracles are possible. Your individuality is essential, but always find your community. It is important that you hold onto your dreams and trust your intuition. There are seven animal guides, one on each of the dancers. Deer for love, rabbit luck, dolphin friendship, snake rebirth, frog renewal, horse freedom, and hummingbird joy. They are here to escort you to new insights and adventures. Connect with them whenever you need their support. They will always answer. I am an in influential individual who draws strength from my community. Aquarius from the Sacred Geometry Deck. How can my unique hopes and wishes be supported by others and heal the collective? Dodecahedron, Divine Thought. The dodecahedron is one of five three-dimensional geometric shapes, commonly called the Platonic Solids. Each has equal angles, edges of equal length and equal faces, and each would fit within a sphere. These shapes hold cosmic wisdom within their structure. The dodecahedron has 12 equal-sided, five-sided faces. This geometric solid embodies divine thought, or will, and is the archetype of life and fecundity made visible. It is heaven, ether, sorry, ether <laughs> prana, and female. Choosing this card connects you with divine thought and with the realization of the universality of oneness. Consciously move into your breath and connect with the prana force that resides there. Feel yourself moving away from the concept of duality, which modern culture tells us is the way of the world, into an experience of oneness and unity of all life. Breathe deeply and experience the feeling of oneness within your being. Visualize what this unity will look like in your present life and how to shift and how the shift you are making will aid all of humanity in the intentional evolution from polarity consciousness to unity consciousness. Hold this image in your heart and feel your emotional truth in this shift. Pisces, how can I end the bondage of self-sabotage involving karma and repressions to become the bliss of self-transcendence instead? From the White Light Oracle, we have a Theta of Venus. Venus is our morning and evening star, the stellar goddess and guardian of transitional awareness and higher consciousness of the heart. She is the way shower of light and fifth dimensional reality, also known as unity consciousness. Her spiritual guardianship of humanity will be complete when our mass consciousness is based on love, light, and divine feminine wisdom. When you connect with Venusian energy, it is an opportunity for increased love, magnetism, and spiritual charisma, a chance to shine your light and manifest your soul purpose with increased grace, synchronicity, and sacred artistry. Her appearance in a reading signifies a time of creative and spiritual awakening. 
It is a reminder of the power of the heart and our ability to rise again after a time of karmic heaviness. Theta is the narrow range between 7 and 8 hertz, which we access during deeper meditation and light sleep, including the dream state. The brain enters the state during the in-between times, such as when we are falling asleep or waking up from deep sleep. These are moments in which our capacity to create our consciousness is heightened. At these times, we become aware of deep-seated programming and are able to heal by reframing it. During this state, you are conscious yet your body is deeply relaxed. You see everyday realities through the inner spiritual eye and come to understand yourself and your life with spiritual insight. Put simply, you may see things differently when you are in the theta state and your life may make much more sense to you. In a reading, the appearance of this oracle is a special reassurance from spirit that everything is unfolding within the protective grace of divine love even if sometimes it appears not to be so. It also indicates that you have the power to heal yourself and change your life for the better. And that's it. That concludes the Radiant Astro reading. Thank you for sharing it with me. I hope to share more with you in the near future.